Hi, in this video we will talk about how to create text labels on your ggplot charts. We will be looking at two different ways of labeling your charts. Then we would look at ggrepel package which provides better control of your labels. Then we will look at how can you selectively show a label based on your criteria. And similarly we would also look how you can actually color your labels based on the selection criteria. So let's get started. We would be using these three packages, ggplot2, ggrepel, and tibble. And if you haven't got them installed, you can use this code and install the packages. Otherwise, you can go to packages and click on install packages to install them one by one. And we are going to use the built-in data set, which is empty cars. So empty cars has some variables, mpg, cylinders, displacement, and the, the model of the car is actually a row name so it's not a column it's actually the the name of the row or the row name and we would be using just 30 30 rows from this empty cars so i have got this data set which has 30 rows but we still have uh, the row names um, in the in the beginning so we want to get rid of the row names and convert them into a column so I'm using this command which will convert the row names which we had earlier into a column called car model and put the values of that row names in there so we are ready with our data so one way to create a chart is using the jump text so it's a point chart or a dot plot and then we are using this line which gives us the text geometry uh, jump text and we are using the nudge x nudge y etc to do various um, options and this um, check overlap option which tries to avoid the overlaps as much as possible so let's run this and i'm using the theme classic and putting some labels at the top and at the bottom so this is our first chart You notice that in some cases we don't have the the names for example Honda Civic belongs to this dot but what about this dot and you can obviously go and change your nudge x values to make it a lot closer but we still don't have the name for this point so let, let's address that in the future so let's plot another chart now I would create another chart and I can put a lot more information in there so I'm using the label command and in the label I can actually put more than one um, data points I can put the weight and then I can get a new line in there and then put some text values in there as well. So let's plot this chart. So this is a chart in which I've tried to put two lines of information. So the first line says weight and the second line actually gives the, the, the model, car model number. Remember that we still don't have any text for this and any text for this etc so let's let's see how we can solve that problem going a bit further now we have actually plotted or created the labels by using the jom text there's another way of creating the labels which is by using the jom label so it's a different command does the same work in a slightly different fashion so if i write this code see that I'm using jom label instead of jom text and see the results so jom label actually puts a border around around your uh, text so you can control the color and the fill of, of, of that as well and in this one we see two points there remember that we were only seeing honda civic and the point on the left was missing which was actually lotus europa so in this case it's showing it it sounds promising but let's go one step further so 
we have another package which we just called earlier which was the gg repel package and using the gg repel package we get a different um, option we we have an option called jom text underscore repel which comes from this package and let's see what it does instead of the jom text so you would see that the dot points are a lot more clearer now you can see almost all the points uh, the point which was missing was this earlier and we can actually see it uh, because we are using the jom text repel so this looks better and provides better control compared to the normal jom text and in a similar fashion gg repel also has a jom label so this was the jom text and now we have the jom label as well which is similar to what we used earlier so let's plot this chart so no surprises it just gives the same border around the, the the text labels and obviously all the texts are being plotted see how it actually draws a line pointer to the to the dot so for example if it's uh, if it's crowded it tries to put a line showing that this is the actual uh, dot point which you're referring to for example Mazda is this point now how would you control your colors and if I wanted to fill the chart with different labels and with different colors I can use the fill option so fill by the cylinders so we would get different fill colors based on the number of cylinders each um, car has so there we go we see three different colors based on the number of cylinders so four cylinders six cylinders and eight cylinders are colored or filled differently to provide more information on the same chart now how about labeling a particular car only for example what if you just wanted to show a, a particular mercedes model on the chart so yes we can do that and the way to control that is we are passing the if else command there to the label saying if the car model is Merc 240D which is over there then we want to see the car model that means put the actual value of the car model there but if if the car model is not Merc 240D we just want to see a blank there so let's see if it does the trick yes so we have a chart which only shows the Merc 250D and all others points are shown as um, just just the points because we just said it, uh, it has to be blank and if I put a cross there and you see what happens now all the others are actually shown with with cross so which we don't want to see so I'm just gonna make it blank again okay so what if we wanted to select two different cars for example if the cars which we are interested are Merc 240D and Fiat 128 we can do the same if else and then put this into uh, using the in statement and put uh, two values in there and that should do the trick so we have two cars of interest labeled and all others are like normal blanks similarly you can also control the color so if you wanted to control the label the, the label colors or label fill colors we can use this command we are controlling the fill by using the if else command so we are saying the car model if the car model is in Merc 2240D or Fiat 128 then the color is 1 otherwise the color is 2 so if I run this you would see what happens but we are not actually defining any color at the moment because it's just going to take the random um, palette so if you want to control your own color you would better provide a statement saying this so I'm saying scale fill manual values equals C so the first color is the red color and the second color is the green when I, when the first condition is met it's red when the second condition is met it's, it's, it's green so you would see that we have 
the actual control of the color. So the red means it's more good fit, and then green or two is um, all of this. So that's how you control. And lastly, we would use a wildcard criteria to find out all the marks in, in, in the data and color them differently. So I'm saying fail equals if else grep l which is searching for the wildcard merk in the car models and if it meets the criteria then the value is one otherwise the value is two and then based on that we are controlling the color as red or green so hopefully we should get all the marks colored in red and that's the case so i suggest using the GG repel package and then I also suggest using either the JOM label repels or the JOM text repel options so that each and every point is labeled properly and if you want to do any 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 specific um, search criteria based coloring or uh, appearance of the labels you can control them in one of the following um, methods using if else passing it to the fill or passing it to the text so I hope you found this information useful. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.